Well, George, I'm really thankful that uh, so many voices, students, the grassroots uh, leaders, education leaders from coast to coast to coast have engaged with this panel. Uh, now be mindful that we've had many reports in the past, including, including the Royal Commission on Aboriginal Peoples years ago. And right now we also have a, uh, an important Senate report on education. Um, George, I'm really hopeful that as a country that this is the moment that we, that we grasp to smash the status quo. Uh, we know that the current conditions uh, are completely unacceptable. We know that in one generation, if we close the education and labour market gap, invest in our young people, this could result in about $400 billion in additional output to the Canadian economy, result in $115 billion in saved government expenditures, but more importantly, result in the unleashing of the potential of people in our communities. And to accomplish these success while making sure we retain our, our languages, our cultures, our identity, our connection to the lands, this would, after all, give effect to the apology offered up by Prime Minister Harper back in 2008 to the generation that attended the residential schools, which had the sole intent to take language and culture away. So I'm very hopeful that this is the moment that we'll grasp to make sure that uh, future generations are well served and have support for stable, long-term um, supports, funding supports for education and the infrastructure in their communities that they need.